Does it ever get old or you still the no. excitement still there? Nah, it never gets old. And especially coming off a of bye week, it's even more exciting. So nah, it don't get old. Robert's here again. Almost halfway through the season now. Just how would you evaluate like, your own performance so far? This Say that again? Just like halfway through the season, almost halfway through the season, how would you like evaluate your performance this season so far? Solid. Um, not where I need to be. Um, definitely not where I was, though. Um, but got to continue to climb. Every day is a, is a challenge, an opportunity to get better. Um, you know, I'm out there doing my job. My 1 11th, that's, that's what I can do. Um, I can bring other people along with me. Um, but, but as far as the plays, yeah. they'll come when they come. Um, I just got to do my part. Billy, yeah. you guys had a great goal line stand in this game last year, and you played a big part in that. What do you remember about that stand? Yeah, I remember, um, you know, we let up a few big plays for them to get down there. And then, you know, what we what we say all the time um, when our back is against the wall, you know, they don't get in. So uh, we were just down there, four plays in a row, four straight plays. You know, that's why we practice those moments at practice. Um, so when the game comes, we're prepared. And so we were prepared, and we stood them four straight times in a row. What do you remember about the fourth down play when you stopped Worley? Yeah, I, I just remember, uh, you know, we were in kind of a mix, a mixed call. Didn't necessarily know exactly what we were doing. So I had told Dasan. Uh, to, to go ahead and blitz, I'll, I'll take care of them out here. Um, so right right away, he motioned in. Um, wasn't really expecting a pass, but he motioned in, and then boom, screen pass, and just triggered. When you have success on a situation like that, can that feed into future situations, almost like what you guys had at Auburn this past game? Yeah. Say it again. When you have success in a situation like that, can that feed into future situations, almost like what you guys had at Auburn oh, this yeah. past game? Yeah, just like like you're saying, like Auburn. You know, we practice that situation literally the whole week. And so when they come alive, you know, it's, we're prepared for it. And, you know, we have the game plan down and everything like that. But, yes, they, it's – I think we – when once teams get down there, I think we have a pretty good sense of each other knowing that they won't get in. Going up against those Texas receivers, how excited are you guys about that matchup? Yeah, I'm very excited. You know, it's going to be a, a challenge, you know. Um, some great receivers, you know, depth, got depth, got good young guys, got experience. Um, but it's, it's going to be a challenge. And, you know, we're not backing down from nobody, so we're ready. What do you Billy, think? Go ahead. Billy, you, uh, you were committed to Texas for a long, long time. Is it ever crazy to think about how close you were to playing in this game and burn orange? <laughs> that is crazy, but um, I mean, I, I was committed with I, my sophomore year, but um, yeah, I, n I never thought about it like that. You know, I'm on this side, so that's what matters. Billy, how impressed have you been with Robert this season just since development? Very impressed, you know. Um, I've seen Robert come in here as a freshman, um, completely raw, didn't, barely knew how to break. Barely knew how to do really anything, you know. He's kind of more of an offensive guy, a receiver. Now you don't see him completely, you know, develop and change, like you said. Um, but I'm, I'm very proud of uh, Robert. You know, I, I said it at SEC media. Be ready to see a lot of him on the field because um, he's put the work in, he's put the time in. Um, and he, he's a guy who, who's going to continue to shine. You keep in touch with Anthony Hill at all? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. that's my guy. So yeah, we we talk often. Your thoughts on their offense as a whole? What do you see in Texas? They're explosive, very explosive. They got two quarterbacks who can, who can sling it. You know, they're accurate. They can throw it deep, uh, intermediate, short, um, and then their receivers. You know, and then uh, especially up front, that that old line. They're very experienced. You know, they they have guys who 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 know what they're doing. Uh, they're very composed. And then, um, like I said, the, the wideouts, the receivers. They're a great group of. Of receivers, and you know they'll, they'll challenge us in every aspect with speed, route running, you know, trying to block on the perimeter and things like that. Billy, I think you said a few weeks ago that you felt this defense was playing at about 75 percent of its potential. <coughs> Where do you think you guys are at now? Yeah, well, I, I say I say the bye week, you know, gave us gave us time to, um, you know, rejuvenate our bodies, get get ourselves back together. But um, we had a great practice today, you know, so I, I feel like you know. We're still around that, that 80 range, 90 range. We're, we're nowhere close to where we need to be, where we can be. Um, but we're working every day to get there. Billy, you've experienced kind of a lot of highs and lows in this, this game specifically. You know, what do you remember from the, the past few years and you know, to take into this year? Yeah, yeah, you know, I remember my freshman year, um, obviously with a different staff, but um, just going in as a freshman, you know, playing in my first Red River, it was, it was crazy. It was a, it was a wicked environment. Um, but yeah, that was that was the game. You know, we went down, um, and Caleb Williams um, came in and saved the day, which, you know, that was that was a, gr a great game. And then my sophomore year, unfortunately, I was hurt, and um, we did not have the um, the outcome that we wanted. You know, uh, but we came back the next year, my junior year, and we bounced back. And that was probably my uh, most favorite uh, Red River Red River rivalry game. Um, you know, winning winning at the uh, at the last minute. You know, they throwing the ball into the end zone. We got to knock it down. Uh, obviously, DG threw a, a great pass to Nick Anderson in the back of the end zone, but um, you know, um, I stand at two and one, so I don't want to split even. So, 
looking to go three and one. Got a lot of young receivers uh, that are going to be tested in this game and have a lot of responsibility yeah. on their shoulders. How would you evaluate where those guys are at from what you see on the practice field? Into this game. Yeah, I've seen guys who, who are eager to learn and eager to grow. Um, they all want to be out there, but it's 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 a lack of experience. It's a lack of maybe size. Um, you know, as freshmen, you know, you had to come into college at, at a disadvantage. But um, I've seen those guys, you know, continuing to, to go hard and and earn what they've got. You know, they they wouldn't be out there if 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 they didn't come here and earn it. You know, every every single one of them since they got here, they've been working to get on the field. And so now they have their opportunity. But um, just going against some of them in practice, you know, um, they're good young guys and, and they'll be ready for the moment.